Good morning, Year 9. Today we're looking at electricity in the home and the heading, Alternating Current. Please put this heading in your book and the date. Um, you should have watched a video, Tesla and Edison, giving you some idea of what happens with electricity. Um, our lesson objectives to identify the UK main supply in the UK. Explain the difference between alternating and direct current. And to be able to trace or draw the graph showing the frequency and the amplitude of direct or alternating current. Our do now activity. In your book, can you make sure you've got the heading alternating current and the date? You're going to list six appliances. Uh, that you use in your home that are electrically charged. From the video, do you remember what did Thomas Edison invent? And Tesla. Have you heard of Tesla? Do that now. Pause the video. Right, so Edison, he invented the phonograph, the first form that produce sound, an instrument that produced sound. And the kinetoscope, uh, the first instrument that produced some type of film. The dictaphone, here's an example, used to record information. Obviously all these appliances have been modernized and upgraded and we cannot do without them in our homes. What we still use today, the lamp bulb or the light bulb, and what we call, he called the autographic printer, a form of a very basic form of printer. And then later on came Nikola Tesla. How did he change the world? He developed alternating current that can go back and forth between homes and buildings. And he pioneered the first radio communication. You might also know Tesla as the man or the name of a vehicle that is electrically powered. Having a look at these two circuits, they are identical. The only difference is we're using the correct symbols for science here. Please can you draw this circuit and then explain what does this symbol represent? What does this symbol represent? Have a look here for the clues. So you're going to do the circuit with the symbols and identifying them. You're going to explain electric current is the rate of flow of electric charge past a given point in a region. And then looking at this cell, one of them is a cell, many of them is a battery. It's got two charges on them. Can you list the three charges? So you're going to do the circuit with the symbols, the definition and the charges. Pause the video, do that now, and then continue. Right, direct current. Put a heading for direct current. In the circuit, you can see the current flowing in one direction. The little yellow lines, which be the flow of electrons. And make sure that you notice the electrons are flowing via a battery, through a battery. It's controlled by many cells or batteries. Can you put a heading direct current and write this definition, please? Looking at alternating current. Have a look at the circuit. Where is the current flowing here? Not through the battery. Oh, via a generator. Now, any electricity that comes to your home, to the wall socket, there are generators that send this electricity from power stations. And this electricity can go back and forth between your home and other buildings. So alternating current alters the direction, goes back and forth, and it's powered by a generator or a main supply. You should be able to describe the difference between direct and alternating current. Pause the video.
Right, main supply, mains electricity. This is the electricity supplied to the wall sockets in your home. And in the UK, it's 230 volts. That also means that appliances can only handle that. And it has to be adapted to handle that. 230 volts is the potential difference, the amount of current um, that is car being carried through the circuit in your home. Frequency is the number of times the electricity changes direction. That electric supply changes 50 times in a second. So we call that frequency, and in the UK it's 50 hertz. Can you answer these two questions? What is the unit of measurement for potential difference? And what is the unit of measurement for frequency? Pause, do that now. Question, can you remember what is the main supply to, to the homes in the UK? And can you explain what is frequency? Did you get that right? Frequency is the number of times the main supply changes direction in a second. And the main supply in the UK, 230 volts. So it changes direction 50 times or 50 hertz per second. And the main supply in the UK is 230 volts. Write that down if you never got that. As we are working, you could hear alternating current, um, which is the humming maybe of your laptop or the humming of the light that's switched on near you, meaning that the current is flowing back and forth, back and forth. You're going to write down this blank uh, paragraph and then fill in the missing answers. There's some help here for you. Pause the video and write this down, please. Let's check your answers. Direct current is where the electrons move in only one direction. And direct current is produced by batteries or cells. Alternating current, the electrons are rapidly changing direction. And they can be produced by mains electricity or generator. Mains voltage is 230 volts and has a frequency of 50 hertz. We tested you earlier on that. And this means that electrons change direction 50 times every second. Please mark this. Do any corrections where you need to do. Pause the video. Right, so this appliance is called an oscilloscope. Obviously, we're not at school. I can't show you one of these working. But what you can see here, there's like a grid for a graph. And it, you can see the current changing direction. It's going from positive to negative to positive to negative. And we call that alternating current. What do you think we do for direct current? It would just be one flat line. So the voltage goes up positively or negatively downwards. Here's an example of different types of current, AC and DC. If I had to give you these four graphs, which one, or oscilloscope samples, which one is the odd one out? Looking at the current changing, 30 volts, minus 30, plus 30, minus 30. In this one, 30 volts, minus 30. Over here, plus 20 volts, continuously. 
this one's changing, minus 40 plus 50, minus 50 plus 50. So yes, um, you might have guessed it, obviously y is the odd one out, and the reason, showing direct current, whereas the other three are showing alternating current. So the voltage would be on the y-axis and on the x-axis is time in seconds. And depending on how many times the current changes in a second, that would give us the frequency. Can you please write down the formula for frequency or the equation? Frequency equals 1 divided by time in seconds. And that would be measured then, the answer would be frequency in hertz. You can write this down please. Yes, some questions for you. Um, it asks you to draw on the blank oscilloscope paper direct current of 2 volts. Now the first thing you're going to do is open that document blank oscilloscope document. Open it now, please. Now the first question asks you to do direct current of 2 volts. Is this direct current if it's changing direction? No. This is alternating current. So we put a 0 on our graph. We go up 1 volt, 2 volts. That's a plus 2. And our line would go straight across on our graph paper. One, two, and straight across. That would be direct current. You should then be able to do question two on your own and question three. <clears throat> then question four asks for alternating current. Remember alternating currents going up and down, up and down. So alternating current, first of all, you have to do 4 volts, going plus and minus, up to 4, down to minus 4. And then 5 volts. So it's asking you to alternate the current 5 times in a second. 5 times in a second. See if you can do these 6. You're going to pause the video and complete these six questions on your worksheet. That you can then send to me or you can complete it on Microsoft Teams. When you finish this video, you will complete the quiz that follows the video. So here's yeah, a quick quiz. Just a a recap, AC stands for alternating current, DC stands for direct current. So having a look at this appliance, cell phone or smartphone, is this AC or DC current? So there's a hint, is it battery charged or does it come from a generator or the mains? Number two, The lamp, he has a clue, AC or DC. You're just putting the number and the answer. Number three, an alarm clock, AC or DC. Over here, a wall clock, decide AC or DC. Number five, a remote control appliance, AC or DC. And number six, microwave oven, AC or DC. Right, let's go through those answers. Six, the smartphone, direct current because there's a battery inside the phone. The lamp, there's even a cord here to show that it has an electric attachment, AC. 
Alarm clock, there's no cord, but we know that AC electric charge from the mains. A wall clock, there would have to be batteries inside here, DC. The remote control also is has energy from batteries, DC. And then the microwave oven, DC. Right, please let me know if you have any questions or queries and then you post the work on Go for Schools. Or if you can't do that, email me. Thank you.